Hello and welcome. I'm Alex from UiPath, and in this video, I'll give you a quick overview of the document understanding process, our studio template that goes GA with the new 2021.10 release. The document understanding process was designed with some key features in mind. To facilitate getting started with new document understanding projects and quickly integrate them into larger automation flows, to be suited for all projects from small demos to complex implementations, to present a common architecture for both attended and unattended implementations. The template is production ready by implementing best practices pertaining to document understanding, long running processes and RPA in general. It has the built-in logging, exception handling and retry mechanisms that you'd expect. Overall, development, deployment, debugging and scaling of document understanding processes is greatly simplified. On a solution architecture level, it is important to know that there is no batch processing for document understanding. Instead, one job execution will be triggered for every input file that needs to be processed. This approach provides great flexibility and scalability, and the only small downside is that a dispatcher mechanism is always required. To make getting started even easier, the document understanding process comes with a pre-configured use case. There are four document types to be processed and the sample input file is provided. This merged documents PDF contains a certificate of filing to be processed using regular expressions, an invoice to be processed using the out-of-the-box machine learning model for invoices, a W9 form to be processed using Intelligent Forms Extractor, and a receipt to be processed using the out-of-the-box machine learning model for receipts. The logic for processing these documents is already set up in the process itself. We are only missing a little bit of configuration. The config file is found under data config xls6. The rows highlighted in grey are the ones where I made the changes. I changed the exports folder where the extracted data will be exported. I changed the training folder where the machine learning trainer data will be exported. I rerouted these to my desktop to make them easy to find. I filled in a storage bucket and a queue, and I also created a new asset in Orchestrator with my document understanding API key. A special remark I want to make regarding the invoice post-processing sheet. This is a new sheet that is being utilized exclusively by this new functionality. But more on this will come in a dedicated video of its own. A newly created project, as you can see, has two main examples. Main Action Center, which sends data to Action Center for human in the loop validation, and Main Attended, which uses the local classification and validation stations. This approach with two mains allows for a quick switch between the two. Let's have a look at the input arguments. Both files have two input arguments in target file and in use queue. The target file represents the path to the file that should be processed and use queue is a boolean which tells us whether the target file will be passed via this input argument or whether it should be retrieved from a queue item. There is a small difference between these two workflows here. Since main attended is usually expected to work without queues and thus has in use queue to set to false, while action center is expected to be using queues, in which case use queue is set to true. The main attended should also be used if you intend to deploy a document understanding process as a personal assistant. If this main is ran without any target file and without using a queue, the user will be prompted to select the file for processing. Apart from these, and obviously the human in the loop implementation, there are no other differences between the two main XAMLs. Let's now take a quick tour of the project itself. We have the data folder, where the config file is located, together with the example documents and the temporary folder. Document processing, where the taxonomy JSON and the learning file for the intelligent keyword classifier are stored. The bulk of the framework is located under the framework folder with all of the work XAMLs and reusable workflows. And last but not least, please remember that the user guide is in here. The logic itself is quite straightforward. First, we read the config file and thus load all the settings and all the constants for the project. Next is initialize process. In this step, orchestrator assets are loaded, the taxonomy is loaded, and any custom initialization code will be executed. If using queues, we use get transaction item to get the queue item to be processed. 
the target file that is meant to be processed by document understanding will be overwritten with the value coming from the queue. The next step is digitize. We are using UiPath document OCR as our OCR engine of choice, but of course this can be changed. For classification, we are using intelligent keyword classifier. Next is a new workflow that appears in this release, classification rules check. This workflow is dedicated for checking business rules and custom validation rules in order to be able to determine whether the automatic classification was successful or whether human in the loop is needed for classification validation. If the classification was successful, we go to process each and every classified document. Otherwise, we go to human in the loop to validate the classification results and then train the classifiers. Remember that our input file can contain multiple logical documents. In order to extract data, we obviously have to loop between them and process each and every one individually. The first step in this processing is to extract the data. As I mentioned in the beginning, our process deals with four document types, and I have here four extractors configured for this purpose. It is important to remember when using machine learning extractors and machine learning extractor trainers to create a unique framework alias to be able to match between the two. The extraction rules check is another workflow that was introduced in this version. It is meant to hold the logic for deciding whether extracted data needs validation or not. This logic comes with a pre-implemented example, the invoice post processing. For more details on it, please check the videos focusing this matter. After the check, if needed, the extracted data goes through the human in the loop. The implementation is very straightforward. In this case, since we're looking at main action center, a document data validation action is created, and then the process waits for it to complete before resuming. What I want to show you is the train extractors workflow, only to underline that you need to remember to properly configure the framework aliases in order to match between machine learning models and the extractor trainers. Once the extraction is completed, either with or without validation, we go to export. The simplest way to showcase exporting is to write the extracted data into Excel files, which is obviously what we did. Please understand, however, that this is only one of many options. The data could be written into other formats, it can be exported into the data service, it can be written directly into a database. There are many options available. You need not limit yourselves to simply writing Excel files. After export, the individual processing of logical documents finishes. So we go back to our main flowchart. And last but not least is our end process workflow. This is the workflow where all the cleanup is being done, where a report can be sent or notification or whatever is required by your individual use case. And now for the demo execution. But I don't want to do it from Studio, I want to do it directly from the Assistant. With that in mind, I will now publish my process to Orchestrator and deploy it, both as an attended process and an unattended process. Remember that the user guide holds the instructions on how to properly publish for both attended and unattended scenarios. For unattended, the default configuration is fine. We need supports persistence and we need main action center to be selected as main. After ensuring that my unattended settings are correct, I'm now ready to publish to Orchestrator. But for this video, I want to showcase unattended run. So let's set this up. Persistence must be turned off and main action center should be set as main. Then I'll hit publish again and publish this package as demo document understanding process attended. Now let me quickly jump into orchestrator and publish my packages as automation projects. Here we are. Now I can run the processes directly from my UiPath assistant. I'm going to start the attended one. Since I haven't passed any input argument, I am prompted to select an input file. I will use the Marsh Documents PDF, the example PDF that is provided with the document understanding process. Due to the project settings, everything will go through validation. This is the classification station, showing the classification results, which are all correct. I can just hit save and move on to the extraction. Here is the validation station for our certificate of filing. We see that the values have been extracted correctly. But more importantly, 
I'm able to quickly process these documents even though my project was set up in less than 10 minutes. This is our invoice which was sent to validation. As you see, we have some mistakes here that we can correct. For example, I can update the billing name, the billing address, etc. Let's just assume for this example that the rest of the values are correct. I'll just hit save and continue. Here is our W9 form with all the extracted values. We see we even have handwritten forms which have been processed correctly. Signature detection worked perfectly as well. Let's just continue to the next one. And last but not least, we have our receipt. Let me just confirm and save. And that pretty much concludes our demo run. In the demo results folder, I have the outputs for the four files. If I want to quickly have a look at the extracted results, I can just open one of the Excel files. For example, this is the data that was extracted from our certificate of filing. This concludes the overview and attended demo. For an in-depth view on how to run the unattended process, both with and without orchestrator queues, please check out the videos dedicated to that topic. I hope you found this session interesting. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Cheers!